Good morning, everybody. My name is EK, and welcome back to the channel. So, I was going to pick up some Pokeballs here before we head into the final stretch of the game, and then I was going to do the introduction at the elevator to the top. But, I thought maybe it would be a nice bit of nostalgia for you guys as well to see this place, because this is the place where you do pick up the Pokeballs, this is the place where you start the game, and I always quite like that moment when you are far into a game, and you revisit the old places especially like the first couple of places you used to go on the the playthrough and you get this like weird nostalgia like fuzzy feeling like oh you know remember back then and that's kind of what i'm having right now and of course i've been here a couple times to pick up balls in between you know recording sessions but i think i haven't really shown it to you guys like at all since we left here pretty much so here we go um we are gonna stock up on some more pokeballs here now we do have the same selection available still we have the timer balls the ultra balls i'm quite liking the ultra balls i feel like they are working out well we hold we have timer balls as well and i will pick up like a few of them just because i want to have the option to use them if the fight does go long if the ultra balls well apparently don't don't get the catches but i think overall ultra balls have been treating us very well and i don't think there's any more like super hard catches coming up because we have all the hound pokemon already so i don't think we need to worry too much about it just make sure we have 20 so i'll just pick up 12 more uh we still have a nice amount of uh pokeballs left you know we have 25k left still so let me see do we want to pick up anything else here really i mean i guess i could pick up like like five antidotes and um i've not even used burn heal yet i think uh ice heal i don't think i've used awakening i haven't really used uh paralyzed heal can come in handy but we have four already and then full heal. I mean, I don't. I feel like I don't really care about this too much. Uh, maybe I'll regret my decisions. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold on to as much money as I can while still having sufficient balls available to get the catches. Because I think in a gate village there is this, this NPC, and I've shown him off before. It's where you can also buy the the sense, like it's the the shop guy. And I think you can buy like proteins and stuff that boost your stats permanently. So. The idea that I'm kind of having right now, and I don't know, like it, it, fe it feels a bit counterproductive, you know. Like I, I feel like because we're moving into the final stretch of the main game, I should be using those things right now as a tactic. But I, I desperately want to wait until we get the Freligator and then use all of it in him. So we're gonna use the rare candies. We're gonna use the time flute. We are gonna use the uh, all the step boosting stuff. You know, all those things, just like slap it all onto him and have him become a monster. Although I don't know... Oh, whoops, this is the wrong way. I don't know how, how much gameplay there's going to be left once we do catch him. I have looked up sort of where I can get him and it is in the post game. So it is not going to be in the Rigam Tower yet. This is still a part of the main game. When we move on to the post game, which I'm thinking probably two more videos for the main game. And I think then we are moving into post-game area, so probably like three, four videos from now we'll be able to get the, the, the crocodile and then finally get my beautiful relegator. But yeah, if I am if I were doing like a super tryhard run, I would probably use them on Entei or something. Because Entei is just a, a beast and making him even more beastly is just always a good call in my opinion. I could also use them like Espion or something to make sure Espion becomes a real monster because I think Espion skills super well into late game as well. And I actually think there's a chance that Freligator is just simply inferior to Suicune, but I don't know if that's true. All right, enough, enough talking. Let's go into the elevator, go up. At least I'm assuming we go up. Like we could have also gone down, I suppose, but I mean, going up makes more sense, right? Because it's a tower. Ooh, this looks cool. I mean, I have played all of this as a kid, I am pretty sure, and oh. Ah, you have finally reached me. I must say that I am impressed. So finally we meet Nesko. Seth and Yuki, I welcome you to the real game tower. My name is Nesko. Do you remember? Well, I mean, I, I just proved that I remembered. The time that we met in Phoenix City. Oh yeah, we have seen him, you know, just outside the mayor's office, I believe. I did have the feeling that I would one day face you in battle. But I never imagined that you would be the one to seek me out here. Very, very soon, we will be ready to greet your arrival in style. I will go ahead and wait for you. 
Don't keep me waiting too long. But I want to battle you right now. Where are you going? Even further up. Okay, cool. We'll, we'll, we'll follow you. Seth, quick. We have to chase him. Is that a statue of Entei as well, by the way? Like, over here? Where was it? I saw a statue of Entei up here. There's also these side doors. Actually, there's only one side door. So I do want to quickly check out and see what is behind door number one. Oh, it's a poker station. Cool. Hello. Can I, can I talk to you? Okay, that's that then. My Pokemon are all nursed back to perfect health and readiness. Now we can go full tilt against you in battle. Okay. Sure. No problem. I am fine with that. Vigoroth um, and Shelgun. I don't think I care about either of these too much. Shelgun should get one shot by Entei, although... What is my current party setup? Ah, Entei, there we go. Beautiful. Should be super easy, you know, we just fire, blast, shellgun, and a bite. Vigoroth, Vigoroth will not die on this turn, but will die next turn, so it's whatever. Wait, shellgun isn't ice? But at least we have applied burning for the, like, second time ever or something. I will bite you. Probably not too much, right? I mean, that's actually okay. I think I'll do the same moves, but I'll do them the opposite way around. Now, what typing is Shogun? Is Shogun like rock or something? Uh, we should still kill doing this. I think. And then I think because we are killing, well, not killing this guy, but we're, you know, taking this guy out in battle. I think we are going to be unlocking the ability to use the poke station right next to him. Which will, of course, allow us to you know, get our PP back for uh, Entei's Fire Blasts. Which are very important moves to have access to. Here we go. Beautiful. Easy peasy. Darn it. I don't like you. Well, I don't like you either. You tried to stop me. From going to my Poke Station. But I'm back. And now I can use it. Would you like to restore your Pokemon to full health? Yes. Listen to it. Beautiful. Beautiful sound effect. Alright. Uh, so I guess we could change the party here again if we want to. They're, they, they are quite friendly with all of these stations. You know, they have a station downstairs. They have a station upstairs. And there's potentially another station like you know, on the next floor or whatever. So can I, can I go in here? Can I follow him or do I just go downstairs now? I just go downstairs now. Okay, well, that is unfortunate. It's a cool animation though, you know, moving through this like enormous tube. But we go back. Get out of my way. Come on, go over here. No, get 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 like whoop. There we go. We juked her. <laughs> we juked her good. Okay. And back up, and I guess we will have to use the stairs. So I have an all-you-can-eat uh, like work thing tonight, and I'm trying to eat like low calorie because I'm trying to uh, you know get into good shape for well you know spring and summer months you know get the good physique going. And because I have an all-you-can-eat thing, I'm like, well, okay, I guess I'll just not really eat for the rest of the day. So I had like a very minimal breakfast, and now I'm like, ooh, I'm getting a bit hungry. But it's just, there's still a couple of hours before um, before I'm there. Is that the ante? No, that's uh, that's Suicune. Ah, he's gone. What should we do, Seth? Oh, I know. How about over that way? Couldn't we take the other elevator? Wait, which one? I mean, there's two elevators. Which one do you want me to take? But yeah, they've got statues of uh, of all of the, the hounds. So there's, uh, this one looks bigger. This one must be it, right? Oh, it's no good. We can't take this elevator either. Why not? Oh, someone's coming down. Long time no see, eh, Seth? You're not gonna break my heart and tell me you've forgotten my face, are you now? Um... I'm trying to rack my brain. Is this like the team's... Is this the, is this kind of like the team Snagum guy? Was he like in the initial opening cutscene? That face. It can't be. Team Snagum. Yes. But why here? 
Even if you don't want to believe it, you're absolutely right, little lady. I am Gonzap, the boss of Team Snagum. And don't you forget it. Oh, so he's our old boss. Did you ask what I'm doing here? Yes. Isn't this the Cypher's headquarters? Team Snagum shouldn't have anything to do with this. <laughs> well, surprise, surprise. We do have a lot to do with this, Missy. We were just thieves before we got a hold of the snack machines. And where do we get them? From Cypher. What I wanted was this. Go snack superior grade Pokemon from trainers everywhere. What? So this was all one big plot hatched by Cypher? I mean... In all honesty, that... That's kind of what I thought from the beginning. Like, is, isn't that isn't that what the plot's been about? You know, the Cyphers have had Shadow Pokemon and have been using Snag Machines to get them. I guess the only thing we weren't sure about is whether Team Snagum were the ones, you know, delivering the Pokemon or whether the Cyphers were grabbing the Pokemon themselves as well. But I'm thinking that was the plot the entire time, right? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Aren't you the brainy one, Missy? Master Nasku is waiting for you upstairs, but you've got me to deal with first. We've got a little score to settle here. It's time you paid up for wrecking our hideout and wiping out teams. Wiping out? Oh boy. Did we do that much? Are we that cool? Don't get any ideas about beating me. Gua ha ha ha. Gua ha ha ha. Alright, Snagum had Gonzap would like to battle. Well, I would like to battle him too. You know, there's always a good thing about beating your old boss, right? Well, not like physically beating your old boss, but you know, you catch my drift. But, I mean, as the owner or the leader of Team Snagum, he must have a Shadow Pokemon, right? Or multiple. Alright, uh, we do not have the best setup for this, but I guess we can just take out Hirayama. Also, that their Pokemon are low 50s now, so I'm a little bit worried that moving into the fight with Nascor in a bit, they're going to be even higher and I'm going to be under level again. Which might make things tricky, but also might prove a fun challenge. So, I guess we'll see. Not very effective. That is unfortunate. Is he going to, like, just punch me to death right now? Crap, Hammer. No, I thought was going to kill him. I mean, whether it crit or not... It would have probably taken me out either way. At least we get damage on Crawdon too. Alright, no worries. We bring up Rakui. Rakui. Whatever I used as the pronunciation in the last video. So I guess we Thunder and we... You know what? I'll, I'll just confuse Rahim. You know, I'll, I'll confuse him with my... Fab. Can Thunder please stop missing always? I feel like Thunder misses more than any other skill. Like, Thunder is just... I mean, you, you know what they say. It, it is pretty hard to get hit by multiple lightning strikes. In a lifetime, you know, getting hit by, by, by lightning is already rare. Getting hit by multiple is, is very rare. So it makes sense, I guess. Alright, uh, we try again. So why does a leader of an organization going into a battle only have five Pokemon when he's allowed to have six? It doesn't make sense, right? He should have six. Let's see if Secret Power can take out Hiriyama. Thunder is landing. That's good. All right. Crawl down. You're out. Oh, Umbrian level 48. Raiko, oh, is, is it right? I still don't know what it is, guys. Raikou, Raiko. Oh, now I kind of wish I still had fire up. But then is that. Here I am, I can't you stop being so damn tanky. I mean, I know you're super fat, so that helps out as well. Kill yourself. Well, I mean. You guys know what I mean. Um... Don't worry. Don't worry. I bring out the cat. And the cat is going to bring me. Okay, sorry. Right, we Psybeam, Pinsa, 
be fight Hiriyama. Hiriyama should still die. Saibium should probably deal a lot of damage, right? Because I think it's bug type. I mean, it's still decent damage, but it's... Oh, confusion. Yes. Yes. Progress. Alright, this fight should finish up Hiriyama. There we go. Perfect. Look at the guy standing there, you know, with the open jacket, six-pack, six big pecs, big delts, enormous triceps, biceps. This guy works out a lot. Respect. I'll just do... I'll just make sure to take out Pinsir, and I'll see if... You know, I, I could play this smart if you like, you know, let me try and apply confusion and stuff, but... I, I'm just about, about going full offense, guys. I just want to make sure. Keep the damage rolling. Keep taking out their Pokemon one by one. I still have two Pokemon sitting in my party. So we should be good, I feel. Ooh, a Shadow Skarmory. Ooh. Wait. Oh. <laughs> wow, guys. My, my brain malfunctioned. So I was like... Shadow Ball? A ball? I'm like, yeah, of course, it's, it's, you know, it's a move. Of course, it's a move. I didn't expect it to know that move, though. Uh, do I dare? Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do this on Skarmory, just so he can start damaging himself a little bit. Oh! Well, especially with a Shadow Pokemon in the party, like, I'm... I, I, I might struggle a little bit. Uh, I, I'm hoping Hitmontop can deal significant damage with Triple Kick, hopefully. But I'm, I'm starting to struggle. Yeah, at least we confuse Ray so we can start chipping away at Skarmory when he... Hurts himself in confusion, hopefully. But not kill himself in confusion, because that would be quite obnoxious. There we go. I mean, that's very low damage, but at least it prevents a move as well, so that's good. So I guess we uh, we just try and take Shift Tree out by... Doesn't, doesn't Screech... Wait, hold on. I never use these moves, guys. But maybe it's time I start getting into these moves. Doesn't Screech reduce defense? Sharply lowers defense. Yes, 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 guys, 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 guys. My brain is coming through. Don't worry. I'm adapting. So we screech onto shift tree. Although she probably comes in second. I think triple kick's gonna come off first if Hitmontop lives. Oh no, screech goes first. Okay, that's really good because that's gonna lower the defense. And then maybe triple kick, triple kick can deal significant damage if we're lucky. That's good. That's good. That's really good. Pimple on top's attack missed! No, don't aerial ace my Hitmontop. top. Please don't kill Hitmontop. top. Please don't do it. Uh, guys, I'm losing. I mean, I could be using items right now, like getting revives and shit, but I don't think. Like, I, I would like to keep him for like the fight with Nascar, because that fight might actually be very difficult and. There's a chance to just straight up lose the fight here. Oh no. Oh no, Steel Wing Woo! Okay, I'm hoping Aurora Beam... Actually... Flying into... Uh, Shift Tree is Grass, right? But he also used Shadow moves, like... I don't know. I'm gonna just try and use Gust. Uh, did my Confused Layer land, land? I can't remember. Actually, I'll just... Uh, I'll just secret power. Come on, just take him out. Take him out, come on. Super effective. There we go. Okay, Shift is still not dead, but we're making progress. Confusion, please. Yes, and now hidden power should finish him off. Good, 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 good. We might still have a chance. I might also have to look at my inventory to see if I have any revives left. I feel like I should have like a tank Pokemon that I could just put in there to tank hits for when, uh, you know, I'm just trying to stall for a catch. At least a timer ball, maybe, you know, 
getting better now as well. Okay, but this is fine. Uh, do I dare single target surf into him? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk it. Uh, actually, I, I, I will, I will go to my items right now, and I'll make sure I don't lose the fight here. So what I'll do is I'll use. Wait, where's my potions? Don't I have potions? Am I literally out of potions? Have I not bought any potions? There's also still the master ball, of course, that we have. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna just. There's probably no way that's gonna land. Actually, no. I'm, I'm not even gonna try that because it's just it's it's not it's not good. Like he's full HP. I'm gonna I'm gonna call. I'm gonna call. I I, I don't want to risk doing two moves and then killing Skarmory. Like, Surf should be super effective, right? I think. And it's single target as well, so it's going to do a lot of damage. Okay, I could have used secondary move with it, but... Okay, Umbrian tanks it. Beautiful, beautiful. So we'll, we'll Surf again. And we'll start throwing Ultra Bolts now. And I'm hoping that Surf won't crit or something. Or did I, of course, just catch it right now, which would be beautiful. Here we go. Whoop. Throw the ball. Throw the ball. Okay. I mean, I wasn't expecting that one to be, to be gotten, so I'm fine with that. Okay. Please keep using Steel Wing. Please don't use Shadow... Um, or was it Shadow Tackle or whatever? I can't, actually can't remember. A shadow Charge, Shadow Dash, uh, Shadow something. Alright. Um, now I should be able to just keep throwing the Ultra Balls. Also, let me... Because I think... Like, how, how do we even... Like, I know you can change the order of the items. I don't even know how you use the bug. Like, I'm not... I don't want to use the bug consistently or something, but I wanted to show it off, but... Like, I know it exists, but like, you're supposed to change the order of the items after you've thrown the ball. How do you do that? Well, I'd have to look it up, probably. Alright, but don't worry. This, this is going to be it anyway. We're going to catch it with this Ultra Ball right here. What's those fingers? Maybe it's time for a Timer Ball. No! No, that's gonna kill himself! Please don't kill yourself. Please. Please have a little bit of HP left. Please. Please. I hate this game. I hate this game. No, actually, I, I, I don't hate this game at all. It's a great game, but... That little path right there, the way they can kill themselves. You've grown a lot of better, Seth. I am well aware. I am the best. What do you say, Seth? Why don't you and me team up again? Just like old times. You, me, and the snack machine. We can do whatever we please. The world will be ours, eh? Yeah, yeah sure. Hmm, I can tell when you're just joshing me. I am just joshing around. But it doesn't matter anymore. There's no going back for you now. Get going. Um, I will... But only because I want to head down here. And I need to heal up my party. Because my party is... Not particularly healthy. There we go. There we go. Plick, plick, bling, a bling. And we're good. It's all about the plick, plick, bling, a bling. Alright, so I'm assuming this means... That I can't use this. Oh, he's, he's gone now. Hello, who's upstairs? Nescor, is that you? Ooh. Oh, wait, is this like a Colosseum where you just entered or something? Oh, this looks cool. Oh, I remember this. What 
captured Seth, I worried that perhaps Gonsev had beaten you. The time has come for you to pay off some debts. We'll have you battle as payment towards the huge losses you inflicted on us. I expect to see a spectacular battling out of you. Not a battling, but hey, sentence was almost correct. After all, you're here to entertain. <laughs> That's true. That's true. That is my job right now. I am here to entertain. So, are we going to be thrown into a gauntlet of battles now or something? A big crowd like this, it is a little intimidating. I don't want to be embarrassed here, so I'll battle to win. Alright, in the stadium we battle. Beautiful. Ooh, Porygon. Well, Porygon 2 to be specific. I still have NT and Umbreon as the first Pokemon. I don't think that was a smart call. I don't think these two work very well together. Hmm. I could also just like go full on Fire Blast and just hope I can take out Pokemon quickly. I just gang up on one target, blow him up. Okay, Zangu should be out with Bite. Provided no potion or something comes through. I don't know if there's heals between the battles. I'm assuming there is, but if there isn't, then it's going to be very difficult. Because they only have three Pokemon, so maybe they're expecting me to just keep on battling through this without heals in between. It would be more difficult, but quite fun as well, because then I would have to really think about which Pokemon I sent in first. Miltank. It's Miltank, guys. No! No, roll out! Oh, it's Shadow Miltank! Ooh. For anyone who's fought the Golden Rod Gym. Oh no, this ability is really strong, I think. Actually, that's okay. Okay, we're gonna try and melt this Porygon. Just just make sure it's, it's dead. And then play for Miltank. I might not kill this, actually, with Bite. I think I won't, probably. You know, I'm just happy it doesn't use... I mean, that, that, that's practically rollout, guys. That's practically a rollout. With the animation, at least. It was close. Uh... I think him on top can just, like, triple kick at once, and it should be significantly chunked. Bite just isn't particularly strong. It's unfortunate. At least the flinch isn't really nice. Okay. So we triple kick mail tank, we bite Porygon 2, and the defense call is going to make him a bit more tanky. Alright. Should be good still. Almost leveling up as well. Okay, let's see what Triple Kick does. It's super effective, but that was like no damage. I mean, of course, Defense Curl did uh, like reduce her damage a bit. Uh, I'm scared to Confuse Ray because I think it might kill itself with Confuse Ray. I can Screech at once to bring its defense back down because I think it's stacking defenses right now. And with Screech, I can bring it back down. I kind of wish you could see like, you know, Indicator somewhere on the screen showing like, hey, this Pokemon currently has this boost active. So we, we just don't know. Like, we have to keep it in mind. We don't know what exactly the boosts do. Oh, no. Okay. Okay, this is good. This is good. This is good. Um, We just start throwing Ultra Balls now. Here we go. And uh, we call. Okay, now just use Defense Curl. If I don't catch right now, please do catch right now. I'd be very happy. Come on. Yes, beautiful. Miltank was caught. Nice. What? That wasn't supposed to happen. See, I wonder if, if any of these guys are like, oh no, they stole my Pokemon. They're just like, oh no, I lost. But too bad. Whatever. Have my Pokemon. Goodbye. See ya. Oh, not a trainer. 
But I guess it is a gauntlet of some sort. I think Colosseum is like four generally, right? So maybe it's four. Or maybe Nesco is the last one or something. My turn next. Okay. Ryder Dylan. Dylan Delan. Ooh, my Tiana. Have we seen my Tiana yet? I've always quite liked my Tiana. Great Pokemon. Oh, I mean, to be fair, Absol is cool as well. Like, there's so many cool Pokemon. Um, I'll just try and burst my Tiana. I feel like Bite won't do anything because it's a dark Pokemon as well. So I guess I'll just... Uh, wait, why is Suiku in my... Hold on. My Pokemon do stay dead. Okay, that's a big gauntlet. I have to actually play properly now. Okay. Um, now, I don't think it matters if I use Screech because... Like, special defense is a thing in this game, right? Hold on. I'm... Yeah, so reducing defense will only reduce defense and not special defense, I'm assuming. So that shouldn't really do too much for my Surf damage output. So I think what I'll do is I'll go Secret Power onto my Tiana and then I'll Surf. And try and just take out my Tiana as quick as I can. And just chunk up soul while we're at it. That's pretty low damage, actually. That might not even be a two-turn KO. Oh, the paralyzation is nice, though. Okay, that's just a lot more damage. I'm a bit worried about that. Whew, good. Uh, I'm just going to try and see if we can turn the kill here. Probably not, but... Maybe just about. At least we're chunking Absol nicely as well. Actually, maybe we do get the kill. His damage should be very significant right now. Yeah, because he also has more attack. Don't know what Shadow Rush skills off of. I'm assuming it's just attack. Okay, my TNI is down. That's good. That's really good. Um, is Sharpedo also electric or something? Because he has like the, the the yellow stuff on him. I don't know. I'm gonna I'm gonna try. I'm gonna swap in Ray Cow here. I'm gonna just surf once more. I know it's w w bad damage against their water type, but it's gonna chunk um, Absol into p uh, potential Ultra Ball catch range. I think. So I can start throwing balls. Like, I don't know if I can hit it again. The Shapito isn't very tanky, actually, because not very effective, but still a lot of damage. I'm just hoping my Thunder can just one-shot it. Okay, now he should be in... Catch range, I was going to say. So if I re-battle these guys, you know, pr provided, you know, if I do end up losing, how, how does this work? Can I... Can I... Okay, I'm just going to put Umbreon in here because I care least about him fainting. Um, but will I only have two Pokemon or will I have a replacement Pokemon? It, it's going to be easier, though, because I won't have to worry about keeping Pokemon alive to catch them. So... Let me just see... Actually, he, Umbreon is going to use the Ultra Ball. Onto... Absol. And then Suicune is going to see if maybe Gust can do significant damage to Sharpedo. Come on, come on, just get the catch. Get the catch. I'm also scared to hit him again because one shot of rush is going to, you know, self-kill. Okay, that was terrible damage. 
Oh, and is he gonna slash my Umbreon here? I mean, actually, his damage isn't isn't that high, so maybe. Okay, okay. Shadow Rush is gonna put him a bit lower, which is good for potential catching. But I was worried about that happening. So now, what do we have left? Hitmon on top, Espion. Yeah, Hitmon top, Espion, Suicune. Um, I'll just bring Hitmon on top out, I guess, as a tank Pokemon. Actually, maybe maybe his triple kick can do significant damage here, and it, and this attack is being brought down a little bit again. So, so I'm gonna turn the rolls around. I'm gonna triple kick Charpedo, and I'm gonna throw a ball with Suicune. Here we go. We hit it onto Absol. Come on, come on. You know you want to join my party, Absol. Come on, just join me. Come on. Oh! Oh, shit. He got hit on the water. Oh, and Absol's damage is going to go up even higher. I'm so happy it doesn't, you know, change to the other target or something when one target disappears like that. We just repeat the same cycle. Come on, I'm, I'm gonna put down the controller. Relax. I'm gonna close my eyes. And life's gonna be good. I heard it. That hurts me. That hurts me on the inside. <laughs> oh boy oh boy this is a pain uh yeah here we go espion come join me buddy your foe is weak go get him espion yeah sure come on actually let me let me get a timer ball i feel like we've been in this battle for a decent amount of time maybe i should start counting turns i don't know Maybe that's a good thing to do, but that sounds uber tryhard. And I'm only uber tryhard when it comes to League, you know. No, I thought I had him! I thought I had him. Oh. Oh no, Crunch is gonna one shot my Aspen, isn't it? Because there's a dark type, strong move on a psychic Pokemon. Okay, this is fine. No, Shadow Rush is going to kill him. I put so much effort into it. Now it's a 1v1. Alright, uh, I guess I'll try Aurora Beam. Okay, I just want to win the battle now. Yeah, try and crunch me. Try and crunch this ice. Don't turn me into blocks of ice. I will crunch you instead. Yeah, you don't do damage to me. Here we go. Aurora Beam again. Right in his face. Kill him. At least we win the battle, guys. Well, we got one of the Shadow Pokemon, so at least the next run through is going to be easier. But this is a pretty challenging fight. Pretty cool, though. I'd heard about you, but you were much more than I expected. Well, I hear that a lot. Is there going to be another one? Yeah, that's what I was scared of. Now it's... Um, I have one Pokemon left, so... Unless I... Unless they're like old ground Pokemon or something and I get uber lucky. There's no way I win this. You must be Seth. I've been looking forward to meeting you. Don't you think it's a great honor to battle on this fabulous stage? I'm going to beat you and earn my promotion to an admin. Well, I wish you the best, Nella. I wish you the best. To be fair, Houndoom Torkoal, if Surf, like, okay. 
But probably one of them is Shadow, right? I mean, Houndoom is quite cool. I would like it to be Houndoom. There we go. Nice. So, let's just see what happens if we just double surf. How does a defense reduction, right? Oh, it's his attack increase. Okay, never mind. I'm an idiot. It's good damage, but... Oh, this can poison, right? I mean, if he keeps bumping up his attack like, and we get lucky on a catch, you know, it, like he's wasting all his turns in that sense. I, I would always be, almost be tempted to like, throw the mask back. If, if I knew this was going to be the last fight of the the uh, like the like gauntlet, I'd probably throw a master ball here just, you know, to actually win this. We're getting a good experience though on Suicune. That's also fire. Oh, this this might. But I want to catch the Houndoom. Oh, I, like if I if, if I double surf right now, we probably win the fight. But I don't want to just win the fight. I want to get the Houndoom. So I'm going to do something super risky, guys. I'm going to throw an Ultra Ball here. Pray that I get Houndoom in one go. And if I get him in one go, then I can surf my cargo and I can actually win the fight and get the Houndoom. And then if that's the final fight... This will be insane if, if this works. Okay, here we go. Uh, Houndoom. Come on. Come on, please. If there's ever a catch I need, it's this one. Oh, no! Because we can't surf anymore. We might still have a chance if, if, if Sukan survives this. Heat wave. There should be. Oh, avoid it. Okay. Okay. We, we try again. We try again. There is still. There is still a chance. There is a chance, guys. A chance. A, a sliver. But as small as it is, I'm ready to go for it. Come on. Come on. Catch this handle. Come on. Ah, no. No. Yeah, th this is going to kill. Like I could have won a fight, you know, double surfing probably would have gotten the, the win, but I've got to catch the Pokemon, man. Seth is out of usable Pokemon. Seth, wi Seth whited out. Just like my face, apparently, because I'm like, when I'm at this distance, like the lighting is a bit weird. You know, when I'm when I'm here, you know, it's 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 good. But uh, I've been I've been like rolling all over the place. Wait, where are we? Is this Mount Battle? Is this Mount Battle? Why are we all the way back here? Okay. I mean, speaking of almost level up, that's quite nice. Uh, so yeah, um, that is going to be it for this video, guys. We haven't really made that much progress. I'm sorry. I wish we could be making more progress, but these battles are quite lengthy. And uh, this it just overall, you know, it, it just takes a, a bit longer than I expected. So next time we'll be back, we'll probably just try again and see if we can make it through this time. Um, maybe I'll do a bit of mount battle between as like a leveling tactic, but uh, yeah, I'll decide on that between recordings. So thank you very much for watching guys. Have a nice day and I'll see you later.